In this video, I will demonstrate to you ideal transformer in simulink for that I am opening simulink and get model for ideal transformer. Now we have to go firstly simscape foundation library electrical and electrical element. This is ideal transformer and I'm taking a simple SC voltage source. Okay. And we need electrical reference and a solar configuration block. So I'm connecting this to input. Uh, for uh, here uh, for measuring output voltage, we need a voltage sensor and a scope. Okay, and a PS simulating converter. We already know that. I have discussed about this in my previous video. Okay, I'm connecting this to secondary circuit and this and this. Okay, I'm putting uh, my input peak amplitude to like 300 volt and frequency 50 hertz. So, okay. Uh, here, there is one thing you have to know or you have to concentrate here is that you have, you have to take two electrical reference for both primary circuit and secondary circuit. This is the only mistake uh, maximum people do have. Okay, so I'm correcting this. Okay, so our circuit is okay. You have to put two, two electrical reference in that circuit. So I'm <coughs> sorry. changing stop time to 0.2 second, second. This is enough for observing PR wave shape and learning this model. Um, now you can see our web shape is not so good for that we have to go modeling and model setting and solver details and change maximum step size to a million value like 1 to minus 4 for a smooth web shape okay now you can see here our output voltage a big value is 600 volt where our input voltage was 300 volt and our Winding ratio was 2.5. Okay, now I am changing this to 2. It should give result peak value of 150 volt. Now you can see this peak value is 150 volt. <coughs> now you see here our peak value is 150 volt. So this is the way you can you can use transformer or ideal transformer in simulations. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos.